Hi folks, and we're back to the Paradox Mega Campaign with the County of Portugale. We are looking at the Holy Roman Empire because among the electors we have one of our allies. And although the Emperor was just recently re-elected, Franconian, uh, the guy is what, uh, how old is he? Ugh, 14. Probably gonna take a while before he dies. But, that is no reason for us to not start working on uh, potentially being elected. Potentially. That will have to wait until our vassals are integrated, though. At least some of them. But... That can wait. That can wait. So, for the time being, we have a free diplomat. No, not right now. Ah, finally that finished. Let's keep working on the quicker conversions. Our war exhaustion is coming down now, I think. Ah. Lost the military leader. All right. Uh, that might be an opportunity, since we're going to be at peace. Yeah. We'll gain 44,000. Okay, let's do that. Just before we hire a new one. That'll increase by one already. And we'll just keep drilling all of our armies. That should get back to a hundred in uh, short order. Before we go to war, I hope. And a nice little boost to our current manpower. Ah, yes, of course. I uh, forgot about this. Uh, okay, stop drilling. So, you needed a lot more ships. Yeah. Oh, our limit. Ah, probably because of our new uh, charters and colony of uh, Peru. Alright. Not going to be complaining about that. I'm uh, going to be... Oh, we're going to need a lot more sailors for that, though. Uh. Yeah. Oh well. So, we need a lot more big ships for this fleet. That's going to be a two-year job here. Yeah, that's a lot of sailors. Six hundred each ship. Wow. Right. That's one month's worth uh, of sailors per ship. Okay, so that's going to be really big. 3635, is that big enough for any of these? 3635. Kalyani, certainly. For Cheng, they have a lot more galleys. So let's get some Chebecs in as well. Ten, maybe? Right, and how many ships? 
Maybe we should have a lot more trade ships in these regions over here. Uh, that's my feeling. Uh, yeah, so. This is going to be working in Crimea. So that and Crimea. Uh, you're protecting uh, Constantinople. It's all going to Seville anyway there. But at Genoa could use some more. And Venice. And the English Channel. And the North Sea. The English Channel, we're being protected by what, 20? Yeah, I think it's 20. That's the Bordeaux Armada. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's the English Channel, so let's... Name it that. Uh, so we need an extra 10 ships over here as well. For the English Channel. And... A Royal Armada, hmm, maybe should upgrade it as well. Ten big ships. And more galleys. The American fleet doesn't really need to be huge. And the African fleet, the same. It's more transport duty, almost exclusively. Right, so, uh, California isn't colonizing by itself because, I don't know, they seem to not have enough money. Yeah, they're spending it all on the army. So... Can't colonize there. I'm trying to move Cascadia forward, but at this rate it's going to take a while. Alright, the truces with France have ended. And, okay, we're trading in Chinaware again. And, alright, this commitment has gone down, so that's moving up much more quickly now. They won't get away with that for long. Ah, uh, Mazur, uh, I think you need to go. Hmm, I've actually gone over to the other side. Uh, 
Are they sieging us or no? They're sieging them. Okay. Well, as long as they're doing that, we're not complaining. Okay, you attack those guys. And are we still not winning? Are they at war with someone else other than us? Yes, with those guys. The Chickasaw. Hmm. So we can't take the territory we want because it's occupied by the Chickasaw. Now oh, that sucks. Probably uh, get rid of all the heretics. So, all of those ships didn't uh, deflate our treasury one bit, just our sailor uh, reserve. We. hmm. We could field another army, but again, we're trying to build up manpower reserves. So, yeah. And... There's nothing really... a lot we can do with money once we have too much of it. Corruption is good. Colonial maintenance. We could speed up colonial maintenance, uh, well, with more colonies uh, simultaneously, but... It's not like we're falling behind in colonization. And how long before... Hmm, it's gonna be a while. Sixteen eighty-seven. Right, so. Well, we can improve our manpower. Hmm, okay. We have one bonus per charter, right? Oh, actually, we can't do that in any uh, other of these, okay. to do any of that. Don't have enough points to uh, change cultures. We could... Hmm, since we have so much money, just recruit mercenaries when we're fighting our wars. Instead of losing our manpower, mercenaries would lose theirs. All these groups are terrible. Xiang army. Reserve manpower, but 
So we could... We could start doing that. Just spending money uh, to replace manpower through mercenaries fighting instead of our own. Though they wouldn't be great at fighting compared to our armies, I don't think. That's going to increase a tiny bit, not by a lot. That's just for a limit. Not many territories that would benefit significantly from this. So if we... Uh, that increases by plus 12 per month. That's one per year. One and a half per year. If we upgrade these now, they'll bring in a small bit of profit by the end of the, the time period covered by the game. But just barely, like 30 years of profit or something. Alright, reinvested quite a lot. Freedom of the press. Oh, 10 years of close to national unrest. Just a piece of paper. Russian is already dropping. Payan Coelho. Not a bad name. Not a bad general. So, that's over. We could... Oh yeah, of course, we're neglecting to take care of those guys. And I'm guessing Kalyani took care of these rebels over here really quickly. And all right, they're attacking Northern Cascadia. Well, these big boys are coming uh, up to get them. So, we are at war with a lot of things around here, so, uh, can we have you... Yes, that would become part of Cas... Katie, I'm pretty sure, right? Once the colony thing triggers. Which shouldn't be in too long because. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Essentially, once that's finished, 
four, five. Yeah, essentially once that's finished, Cascadia will be a thing. So we can uh, take that at that point. Oh, there's a... Um, oh yeah, of course, because he was booted out of here. I guess we could uh, just help California out a bit by finishing their colonization for them. Oh, Okinawa is also revolting. We do have the advisor for minus unrest, right? Yeah, that's pretty much annuls the uh, malice there. But again, we have discontent that decreases this. Damn, Kalyani Chalukyas slowing down our legitimacy gain. Professionalism is uh, going well, well, well up. Ah, finally, they declared peace against the other with the other guys, so we can take the territory we want. Finally. Well, that's Tyrakion to deal with. Uh, we have too many armies around here. Where was this guy supposed to be? Well, we need a lot of European armies, not... Uh, we have one in Italy. Barcelona. We're missing the Barcelona. Need to go to Barcelona, my friend. And did you need drilling? Not really. Alright, occupied Okinawa again. So we can go back to Chikuzen. Really? We've maxed out? Hmm. I don't think our opinion was positive. Not yet. But over time it will be. Yeah, so every year... Even with the decrease in improved relations, we'll be winning. Yeah, almost 10 points opinion per year. Right, I have a free diplomat. So we want Albinga. That's the most important one. That's Genoa itself. Oh no, that's Genoa itself. Uh, we want Genoa itself. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a lot of trade power. And the region, if we take that, that's 160 points swing between us and the Papal State. So they're down to 500, and we're... Yeah, I think that would be enough if we were to have Genoa and taken the rest of Sicily here. So... Hmm. If we take, like, Genoa and... Saluzzo. Break them in two. And get another connection in through the Alps here. I think that should be good. Oh, we lost. Ah, uh, it was the extra ones we, um uh had made on top of the um, mission tree uh, objectives. Are they still fighting? Yes, they are. How's their manpower? It's always a good thing to keep an eye out. Yes, that's really bad now. They lost 100,000 men. At least. Probably just an attrition. If we were to declare war on Paramara Sistan, would they come to defend? Yes. Despite the war exhaustion, debt, and their manpower issues. Would we be able to... No, we wouldn't even be able to call in our... Ally, because it's too far? It's too far. Maybe Anatolia, if we allied them again. And we've completely lost the idea of having uh, vassals in the Far East, because they're better prospects uh, out here. So you go, get rid of those guys, go back to Milan. Hmm, we need more leaders. Garcia Yanish, fine. We're almost back to 100? Yeah, almost. Ships are probably going to be finished soon. Four siege, that's pretty good. Okay, Poland thinks they're our new rival. Ah, we should probably choose a new rival. Oh, we don't need to, okay. Oh, we're still at war, silly me. So, we want to claim... What do we want to claim? There's some pretty juicy cities in here, but... Hmm... Yeah, I think we want Saluzzo. Do they have a fort in any of these? Saluzzo. Okay, we want that. You can come back. Ah, we can choose an idea. Good, so.
Money is not the only limit when it comes to recruiting mercenaries. The other bottleneck is having mercenary companies who actually wish to serve with us. Thus, we must ensure our system allows every company to join us. Was that the issue? Wow, they have a lot more manpower, that's true. So, we now have a free diplomat. What do we want to do with them? Uh, ally Anatolia again. Once we declared peace, of course, so. Okay, this is all Louisiana, all Louisiana. Right, so, uh, we are at war with... That's the Sunni Federation, yeah. So, the Sunni Federation. We want to take that. We can't take that, really? Okay. War operations and money. And then, oh, need to wait a long while. Yeah, I know. War exhaustion is no longer dropping as long as we don't declare peace here. A poor vintage. That's not good. Well, once we uh, end the war, we'll get a prestige boost. So, we want to open to Kanza. So, we want that. So, Kaski. Right. At least that. Can we get a lot more? Yes, we can. And that's Mexico? No, that's us. That's Mexico. Okay, so that's all the territory you could take. Let's get the money then. Uh, oh, they're no longer. All right. So Louisiana will be able to uh, grow north now. I'll probably have the money too. I hope so. They're how large? Nineteen. Okay. And, oh yeah, they'll have a lot of money for colonial expansion now. Chambi is revolting. Well, that's not gonna last long. So, are the small ships ready? Uh, I think some of them are, at least. That's nine. We're missing the one? Oh, because it's over there. Okay. That is 10, right, so, all of you join up there.
All of you... Train up there, I guess. Crimean Armada is a go. So we'll control the uh, Black Sea and the Sea as of now, to a degree. We could probably do the same for Aleppo, right? We already control a lot of that, but... We could actually do it with a lot more control in uh, Constantinople. Uh, we can build more small ships. How's the limit? We're still far off, right? Yeah. Alright, so more, 10 more ships for Constantinople. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is that all the ships? Probably. Yep, oh, there's another one. Nice round numbers. Probably do with five more ships in the Genovese fleet here. To get that up to 30. Hmm. We're also missing one here in the uh, Venetian one. I think it got sunk with a, with a naval battle against Didachion. Right. So. We are sure to claim on to lose, though. Oh, but before that, yes, they are willing. Offer an alliance with Anatolia again. University of Evora has attracted a new strand of teachers, eager to modernize the institution. Good. Wow, that's expensive, but three innovativeness is not something to scoff at. It takes a long time to get there. Hmm, 50 admin power though. Do we need the 50 admin power for the coring? We are focusing on admin. We are some ideas short. I think we get one more idea in before the night. Uh, probably not before the next deck. Probably not before the next deck. Uh, hmm. I'd rather take the innovativeness. It saves points overall. And we have so much money that might as well use it. So, our free diplomat. Yeah, let's send him to core territory in Toulouse for us, on top of what Gascoigne has. Alright, Colonial Cascadia exists. So we have two extra colonies going here, I believe, hmm. Yeah, if we recall this guy. 
we can start expanding Cascadia inland here. Go deep, as deep as you can. And this is gold, so that's going to bring in quite a bit of cash. Shame we can't force colonies to swap territories with each other. They are at war, really? Hmm. Hmm, we could instruct them to start a war somewhere. Does Peru have an army already? Tiny one. Who is Mexico at war with? Oh, those guys. Okay. Well, that's a lot of gold producing territory right there. Oh, yeah. You get those. The treasure fleet will uh, grow quite significantly. So, please capture that. By all means. The Creek Federation. How powerful are they? 38,000. Can... No Portugal deal with that. Probably not by themselves. They could deal with the Iroquois. They are allied with Great Britain, so we will capture that anyway. Okay. That's just that the colonies declare war by themselves. When the Inia have the strength to do it, they typically do it. Though... Hmm. You could potentially just kill those guys. How many soldiers does Rio Prat? Only 15. They're one of the poorest colonies here. Uh, let's hold off on that then. Ireland's almost integrated. Almost. Terrace on tobacco. Oh, no, no, no. Not on Mexico. Revolt in Pest. Well, Dairakian's uh, problem. Okay, don't really need a leader there, and uh, pretty soon we're back to 100, so it's going to be cheaper to hire then. By half. Okay, they're done drilling. You're still not quite there. How's the war exhaustion? Still really high. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so. All of you guys. Uh, hmm, maybe the North Sea? Do we want to protect the North Sea instead of uh, English Channel? I don't think so, right? Because we need power there to get the, uh, the good stuff. And we already have enough there directing, I think. Right. So, just merge with the current fleet, protecting the English Channel there. And, oof, uh, these are the big boys, yeah, this is all Asian fleet here. The Asian fleet is where? Here. Doing nothing. Hmm. Go back home. I'm Chan, we're not worried about that. Ah, oh, come on, now that we sent the fleet away. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for the fleet to uh, muster here. Uh, not sure if there's still more ships being built somewhere. If there are, we're gonna have to wait after that. Uh, let's go. Thirty-six forty-five, I think, is enough to handily defeat any Asian fleet, though not two. For example, Parmata Sistan joins up with Kalyani. Yeah. Only if our uh, admiral is uh, better, and if we have a good engagement, will that be a sure thing? Okay, yeah, they're doing their thing, good. A new settlement. Uh, people or base tax? Yeah, let's just allow them to do what they want and get some more tax in. And here we go, integrating Ireland. Our theologian died. Oh. That's a lot more unrest. But. Ah, oh, the alternative. Okay, we only have the missionary strength one. Alright. Let's convert like there was no tomorrow then. Right, so Ireland, Ireland. I'm sure they had struggling armies uh, that are of no use to us. Right? Maybe they didn't. Really? They had no army. Huh. Apart from these four dudes over here. Okay. They had a navy, I'm sure. Transport ships. Okay. Well, our main... Yeah. Let's give them to the Imperial Fleet. Our main army, uh, I think, needs growing. They are... Yeah, green all over the place. That means they could uh, do with some expansion. We are getting close to our limit, so we can start thinking about recruiting more armies soon. We're not that far from the limit, though. 
In fact, we're really close to it. Okay, these are ships that we uh, want, but... Yeah, do that there. So, uh, hmm. when we declare war on England, we can also declare war on Fedora at the same time. We have claims here, yeah. Oh, actually, we're losing the claims on Jerusalem uh, next year. We already lost that one. Huh. Might need to renew them when we declare war against the Papal State. Uh, for now, though... Right. Yeah, you're working on that one. That's a gold territory. Alright, let's colonize inland over there. Make the most of that. And... Good. So, we can claim... Pretty, uh, high development territories here. Pretty high development. I think we're gonna go for the whole thing, but let's see. The most expensive would be Trapani, Calabria, and Cosenza. So... Let's start with those. And... Okay. We have a free slot, right? Two already. Ah, yes, because we're just in integrated Ireland. Good. So, we can start thinking. Well, we need to improve uh, our opinion uh, with Gascogne and Cajamarca for the next round of integrations. In fact, we might want to integrate them right now. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's improve. Because we're going to want to integrate Gascoigne right after we uh, finish the war with Toulouse. I guess we could do that then. Yeah, okay. So. Papal State. We're going to declare war at some point. We want to stay on their good side. So you can still get elected Pope. And then, once the integrations are done, we can start focusing on becoming Holy Roman Emperor, I think. Yeah. That's going to be something. All of that, however, is going to be next time. Until then. <laughs>